question that you probably asked a number of times this month. Daniel Sturridge, is there any change in his sort of status situation? Or no. None at all? We didn't speak so far about it, so <laughs> we shouldn't start now. Maybe we should start now. No. So is he in a position to be part of your squad for this FA Cup game? Yes. And you, you brought in a youngster from Falkirk yesterday, Tom, Tony Gallagher. I mean, clearly he's one for the future. If anything spectacular pops up between now and Wednesday, could you still do some incoming business? It's not really likely, but I don't know what it has to do with, the Gallag with Gallagher. No, I'm just saying, you brought, is that the end of your business? In terms of <laughs> in, in, or could you do something else as well? Uh, uh, Excuse me. Yeah, no problem. Um, how is that? It's not really likely. No, if, um, should I say 100% no, but that would kill all the rumours. No, I don't want to do that. Come on. <laughs> you have another, should enjoy it another five days, yeah, four days. Yeah, 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 yeah. No. Um, and Danny Ings is fit. He hasn't started under you because of various situations. Could he start this weekend? Is it something you've been looking at? Has he, has he got a future really here? Yeah, yeah. He's in really good shape, uh, to be honest. Um, but no, nothing to say in the moment about, about the lineup. We had uh, problems last week and during the week we had a few players ill that and was just not too serious. But then, so I, I, I don't know. Yes, but he's uh, Danny's really is doing really well and um, the. The fact that we, we don't give him a loan or something else shows already what we um, how our plans are with him. Yes, it was it was a very difficult time I can imagine for Danny when I came in first day when I came in he got the injury um, and since then it was with up and down in ups and downs. But meanwhile, physically completely there. I don't. I can't remember when it was the last session that Danny was not involved in because of, the, of other reasons, different reasons. Uh, so he didn't play that often, but still a young boy and still a lot of a lot of good years to come. And um, so, good situation for him and for us in the moment. Because you know, some managers would say put him somewhere else where he could start lots of games and then to your benefit. But you obviously think that it's his benefit remaining here. I think I said it a few times. That's that's how it is. At the end, yeah, maybe if if then he could go now somewhere where he could start the next twenty games, would it be perfect for him? I'm not sure, but it was of course would be not too bad or to have got the opportunity to start a few more games. But that's, I cannot forget our needs. And it's um, it's um, we have a lot of games to come. And what I really the most, what I don't like, there are a few things I don't like in the transfer win, especially in the January, but. Very often it feels like the season is over and we didn't use players in the first part of the season, so why you need them in the second part of the season? But we have to plan a full year and that's what we did. And uh, so I don't think that a lot of things will happen in the, in the next few days. But if, then I will call you immediately, of course. Um, well, we're talking about players coming back then. I've seen some nice pictures of Jordan Henderson who seems to have stepped up again on the training pitch. So how important is that? How's he been and is he in contention? Yeah, of course. Uh, okay, we had, it was not the longest break, but it was a break. When so we have to think about, like we have to think about it with one or two other players, like Alberto Moreno is back in training, and what do we do? Um, Robo played. Well, everybody saw really well, but played a lot as well. And so we, we need to see. It's good that they're all coming back. We need them. We need them. We have some other, um, yeah, little problems. So Adam Lalana has uh, unfortunately again a little issue. But keeps him pretty sure out for the next game. Um, Just the next game yeah, I'm not sure, but it's not a big one. But yes, it's um, how it is when you had a long injury, and Adam had a long injury. Then uh, uh, coming a few things because it needs time to adapt again to the intensity of the uh, of a Premier League game. We try to be careful with that, but obviously, and so far it didn't work really well. Um, Mili got a dead leg in training. If Mili says it's too painful for training, then you can imagine how painful it is. Um, but So it's very important that Hendo is back. But I have really, we have um, just only one more session today, but um, it's not that my thoughts are finished already about lineup because it's the time of the year. I said last week, I was sitting here and talking about different things when I came in, three players were out with illness. So and I think, well, um, that's not too cool. We have to wait a little bit, but it's all good that they are really back. Um, Klein is on a good way, but of course, still not in team training. Uh, I said 
a birth to train completely normal, hand to train normal, that's all positive. Ruggie's out. <laughs> yeah, he was he was really ill, huh? he lost again a few kilo, it was unbelievable. So. <laughs> and um now little little muscle issue, not too serious as well, but it's not available for tomorrow. So a few things. Um but for that um after illness, um Dayan is back, so it's the time of the year. Huh? So, um, and, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can I ask you about the captain's armband? Because certainly in this country, it's it's a, it's a kind of a big thing. But I appreciate it's not so much so on the continent. Um, are we making too much of the captain's armband? No, you only made too much of it. Probably who wears it on the pitch? Because Jordan Henderson is our captain. He's a perfect captain for us so but if he's not on the pitch and then um, vice captain is James Miller if he's not on the pitch so somebody needs to wear it it's not it's not that then you have to say okay they wear it on the stand on the bench or wherever they are it's but they are still the captain um, and that's that's very important and they have to do so many things in the dressing room around a, a big club like Liverpool like maybe you can imagine there are a lot of questions to answer a lot of things to talk to me about stuff like that so that's the job to do on the pitch, you need to share responsibility, and it's not that I think about. To be honest, it's um, it was not in my plans to give it. I think I did we count it seven different. <laughs> the last six Premier League matches, every match has started with a different captain. Oh, hmm. sorry for that, but it's not that I'm disrespectful about this. Um, I was kept by myself and um, for many years, and it's. Um, well, I think it's it can be an important job. It depends on how you fill the role. Um, but um, in our case, it is important. But it's not. We cannot. We cannot change it. So it's um, you don't. I don't think you make it too big. In this club, maybe a little bit different because Stevie was the captain for feels like 25 years or so, and um, that's then of course something you. It's normal that you talk about that. Who can fill this role? Um, but um, I think we really did well in the last few months and in and, and, and the last two years since I'm in. I'm really happy about uh, Jordan's captaincy, and so that's that's good. But um, not to change. And my lineup is not to find a lineup where one of our captains can be in, and then <laughs> we have um, we have this problem sorted. So it's just to make the lineup, and then I realize yeah, somebody needs to wear today. The armband, and that was obviously about different people in the last few weeks. Thank you. Welcome. It's a Saturday evening kickoff. Um, does that mean anything to you at all, or all the players, or, or is, it, is it more an issue for the fans? Oh, is it an it's issue for the fans? Seven forty-five, which I think is a relatively new thing for uh, for this country. Okay. Um, so to be honest, I never, I never thought about like, apart from playing 2:30, some 12:30, um, after playing Thursday night an away game in the European League. That's not too cool, to be honest. But um, um, apart from that, to be honest, I like night games. I think Saturday night is a night where people in general don't go too early um, in their bed. So um, that's. They want to go out in Liverpool afterwards. It's another good thing to do. So um, I think it's a good time to play football. To be honest, much better than 12 o'clock. Um, I'm hungry at 12, yeah, but um, not at 7:45. So all good. Uh, no, I, I like it. I hope the people like it as well. So it's a flat light game. That's that's as well very good. It's very important that we create a special atmosphere. We played a few weeks ago against West Brom. They developed since then. To be, and that we played not that well that day, but they did well, with all respect. Um, mainly, we had good games in the last few weeks, but now if we think about that game, it was not too good. The last game we played was not too good, so two more reasons to, to, to step up again and to do it really differently. For this, we need a, a special atmosphere. It's a cup game. So, um, the biggest difference to Germany is in Germany, would say, okay, the biggest difference between a cup game and the normal league game is that there will be a winner after the game in England it's slightly different because we have the opportunity to play it again <laughs> um, but it's a cup game and it's important competition for us very important competition so um, we really want to go through to the next to the next round and for this we need to perform because how I said um, 
West Bromwich Albion, um, I think since Elnis in was at the beginning, they struggled a little bit, or still, if you want. Uh, but meanwhile, you can really see a big improvement, and so that makes the job not easier for us. And in terms of your thinking on, on team selection, when you've got another game, a Premier League game, just what three days later, what are the sort of things you will be thinking about? How well, likely? Yeah, we have we have a few maybe we have a few options, but it's not that we have plenty of options in the moment. So that but it's not, that's not a problem because I really think Saturday, Tuesday is a normal, nearly normal rhythm. We, we play Tuesday again at night time, um, so that's. Should be okay. Players will be ready again if they don't have any little or bigger issues after the game. Um, so no, it's uh, we had enough time after last game, obviously, um, because it's FA Cup weekend. Uh, we had also, so we had um, since Monday, it was enough time. So recovery was okay. Who will be involved? Will be fit, I'm sure. So and the same for for Tuesday. So no, no reasons to think about big rotation, but. That we change one or two things, but not because of the competition, only because of the period. How I said, um, one or two players didn't play too often in the last two, three weeks. Um, about just coming back and all that stuff. So we will see how we how we deal with that. But um, not, I didn't make a final decision so far. Carl, who's this back? Can I just ask you plans for goalkeeping situation? Last time we played the FA Cup. Morris came in because Simon was starting league games. Now we sort of reversed it. So, what's your plan for the goalkeeper? Oh, I think it was so confusing for you in the last few weeks. So maybe you want to make a suggestion. So, um, <laughs> what is your idea? I mean, your <laughs> Look, that's a problem of a, of a manager in football. That nobody helps you with the, with the last decision. Um, Simon Minion they will play. The reason is, I don't want to make it more confusing for all the people around there. It's just them. Um, I really think that all goalkeepers and uh, Danny Ward will play, for example, the U23. They all need kind of rhythm, they need training, but play match time and playing time as well. Um, and so they all have the opportunity to play and, and, and keep kind of a shape. So that's really, and, and especially rhythm, that we really have in a situation when you need to change. And you then have a goalkeeper who played a few games, and, and that only can you can do that only can do that only if you have quality goalkeepers. In my opinion, we can we can do it, and so that's why we do it. Anything else? Are you happy with that? Can I just double check something about Adam? What's the what's the injury that he's got? Uh, I'm still not one hundred percent familiar with a different. Um, yeah, yeah, leg. I know what the leg is: arm, leg, nose, head. Um, it's a little tear. Tear. Yeah. So it's just. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's it's really not a big one, but it's just. No. No knee is okay. Nobody told told me something about his knee. No, just Matthew was mocking me, so I just. Ah, good.